awesome, epic, and we are just celebrating him. Martin, this is the Maar recht het hart. Ik heb geen jas mee. Is dat droog toch? Ja. 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 I haven't been to Paris for three years, but now with Lollapalooza here, I'm, I'm excited. And it stopped raining, it's very happy. What's cool about the fireworks today is from our own rider, so we programmed it. Gabe, fucking beast. Like it's not just random fireworks going up, it's like all in sync with, uh, with High On Life, so it'll be nice. <laughs> I think Louis is my taking my favorite picture of all time. How, how can you even do this? Bert was on the side, Bert is the production manager yeah. and he does the special effects. And I was like this and then boom, this happened. that we always park next to the main stage. Morning. I like buses actually. It's just you park at the festival at nine in the morning and then there's sound checking. <laughs> we'll be fine. is the fourth day on tour. Oh, great, I'm happy, I'm excited, I feel good. My left leg is not in pain, my right leg is okay. It's actually less swollen today than yesterday, which is a good thing. So, kind of funny, on my first day back walking again, on my bare feet, I step in a piece of glass with my good feet. <laughs> I, just, I just laugh. It happens. <laughs> My body is testing me. Or someone is testing me and my body. I don't know. I started playing guitar when I was like 10 years old. And my mom works with, uh, she's a pianist and like a, she sings in a choir. So I just grew up with music. We always had like a piano at home, so I always could try out. Even though I never went to any piano lessons or anything, I just tried out everything myself. Then my brother showed me Eiffel Studio, like every bedroom producer uses. And then, and then, it, then I got here. <laughs> so I got to know Oscar. Um, Well, it's a funny story. Uh, my team, they um, we usually get a strike whenever like there's an 
a remix or a re-upload from any of my songs and I just released So Far Away with David Guetta so my team they got this strike on SoundCloud like hey and this uh, remix popped up online um, but instead of taking it down they listened to it and they were like whoa this is fucking crazy so they sent it to me and uh, we decided to release the song on Stemmed as an official remix <laughs> From my side, I just saw you uploaded like tomorrow my new song so far away is coming out, and you uploaded like a preview. So I was like, this is my chance, and I downloaded the preview. So I heard like I had like the whole chord progression and everything. Just made a drop around that, and then you released the song, and I just dragged in the new like the original, and then I just put my drop, added some stuff to the verse, and then uploaded it, like the same day you. <laughs> uploaded it was the it was so quick like the whole team was like how is this possible <laughs> and then uh, then I sent you the real stem so you could do your thing with it but it was just for me it was just crazy because I just did it I just came home from school just <laughs> like yeah why not just make a remix for fun and then like I never thought that you would actually reach out <laughs> <laughs> so <I was> like, <laughs> crazy. that's how it started and then um, we just kept in touch, sending music back and forth. It's like, fuck, this guy's crazy. He should come to Amsterdam. He came to Amsterdam. We became homies, and now we have sick music coming out. <laughs> That's the story. This is maybe half a year after in Ibiza, and I was opening for Martin, and uh, I brought all my friends. We were like ten buddies there, and he played my remix at the show, and all me and all my friends was in the crowd. And they were like, oh, it's your remix, Oscar. And they lift me up. Like I, I saw them. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I, suddenly I play Oscar's remix and I see Oscar flying in the air <laughs> because his friends are, are lifting him up. It was a great moment. Fifty percent of all the roof pyro. There's also pyro on stage for the finale. realize like how much I feed off him and if he wasn't there and his energy wasn't there I kind of wouldn't have anything to feed off of I take cues from him you know and it's like that's a big part of it is his and my dynamic and I mean he's such an integral part of it because at the end of the day the entire team is built around his energy but it's a interesting dynamic working with him and understanding that the creative behind it is for the most part he gives us kind of a blank slate but then once you put the layer down, he's got a lot to say. Most nights when we do well, he's like, oh yeah, that was amazing. And then we'll watch videos and he'll be like, oh, I didn't like this, I didn't like that. And I'm like, yeah, cool. But then there's also, you know, the interesting idea of the fact Martine has never been to a Martin Garrick show. He'll never go to one. He's on stage. He will never see or experience a Martin Garrick show as a crowd, like as an audience member. He's always the performer, which is a whole different dynamic. Right, the first show back on, the, on my two feet. Whoa, that is a mailbow. Bye, motherfucker. I don't think there will be any problems. And if there will be, it will be painful, but it won't be the end of the world. You know? Love you guys, have a good one. Yeah, brother, you too. You ready? Eh? Show back on two legs. Let's go! Hey,
Ja, het fantastische herstel. Amazing. You are the best. Amazing. 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 Amazing.